Good morning. Welcome to day 33 of my Munro Challenge. Today I'm walking route number 34. I parked on the uh, A835 roadside, a little pulling near this weather station. And today I intend to bag four Munros. Um, the first is Bean Lath Moor Fanak, which is the big grey hill of the Fanak. The second is Skirkmoor. Uh, which is the big peak. The third is Milgorm, which is a blue rounded hill. And the third is Ancolishan, which is the little cock. So, on that note, we better get going. So the path that I'm using to set off, I've got a couple of options. I've decided to take the one that follows the river. Now there is another one that runs through the middle of the forest over there of a plantation um, and I believe these will meet up shortly at which point I'm going to head up the hill over there and the problem with following a path this early in the morning along a river is the midges are out but well, maybe I should have thought this one through a bit more carefully so this is a junction where the two burns meet um, we're going to continue following the burn to the right Eventually, I'll cross the burn a bit higher up. I think uh, I think we're heading over that hill there. Yeah, so the burn's heading uh, heading right now, and I've so I've crossed the burn as as it veers off, and I'm heading up here. Now it is pathless. The guidebook suggests it's pathless and very bouldery. Um, so there's a small cairn at the top of this uh, this rise uh, and then we're going to follow the shoulder up to the summit of the first Munro. A fair bit of climbing to do though because I'm only at 400 metres. Uh, first Munro's uh, 950. So there you go, 550 metres of climbing. A long way to go. Yeah, I can vouch for it. It's definitely pathless. <laughs> Just a case of... Uh, Picking your best line through, trudging your way through it, try and get to the top of this first uh, this first small incline before we hit the main ascent. So we're heading up through the scree, but there is a faint path. If you look, working its way through the scree. So I'm sticking to this path, and hopefully it'll take me up towards the summit. Path's disappeared now in the boulders, as I expected it would. So we uh, make our way through this boulder field now to the top. So here we are, Bean Lath Moor Finak. Unfortunately, not a lot to show you. This cloud's not lifted at all. Need to be careful coming off of here as well, Some steep drops. I have to say, it's equally as scree coming down the other side. Just need to be a little bit careful. When I drop off this scree, I should be able to pick up a footpath shown on the map. So I'm uh, heading in the uh, general direction of the footpath, mindful of some big drops around here. Wow, that was a tough scramble. It's a tough descent, but I've got to this footpath that I've been looking for. So I need to follow this footpath for a while now until I veer off the uh, second Monroe, the highest one of the day. You can uh, just about make out in the clouds how steep that descent was. Very tricky. The cloud has momentarily lifted, so uh, that's where we came down. Just following this uh, cliffside here, and uh, we're heading up up the side here to where I start the next ascent hopefully yeah uh, hopefully get some better views so that's Skirmore that's where we're off to next highest one of the day looking very mighty I have to say then we'll be uh, dropping down traversing that ridge and over there is the third Munro of the day and I think beyond it is the fourth Munro of the day. So, anyway, let's concentrate on this one first. This one looks a bit steep. How's about that? A stone shelter 
Uh, but I think it's built by the stalkers on the stalkers path. Obviously it's a bad weather shelter. I'll get you out of trouble if you need it, won't it? Not far to the top now. S stunning views. Very steep path. Very steep path. You see uh, the first one is all disappeared now. Just all gone in cloud. Hopefully we'll just get a view from up here. Luckily we're going that way. So we might um we might get away with it. So oh, here we are, Skir Moor. Quite a fitting cairn. Chunky cairn for the biggest hill of the day. Probably the biggest cairn of the day, I expect. Well, fortunately, view of a cloud. I remember reading about these in one of the guidebooks. You see now it's shelved all the way down. Well, apparently they see this was created by a glacier in the Ice Age, all these various shelves, steps that I'm uh, kind of stepping down. Lots of them, weird. So looking back up, you can see all the various ridges in the mountain that, was, uh, that the uh, glacier caused. Very interesting, it goes right down to the bottom. Now we're on the call to uh, this top, which isn't the Munro. It's high enough to be one, but obviously it uh, doesn't meet the criteria. So, here we are, Meal Gorm. Let's have a quick pano. So, that's the first one this morning. That was um, Bean Lake Moor Thanak. Now we, uh, we climbed that to that one and then up and then really steep down to the col along and then up to the second one which is wrapped in cloud Skurgmore, the mighty Skurgmore. it's a shame because it's quite an angular top so if the clouds do drop later i'll try and get a picture of it we drop down there you can see all the ridges in the sunshine where the uh, glacier had made them shelves all the way down to this col up to here Milgorm. And we're heading over there to um, Anne Collichan. That's the last one of the day before we drop back down. It's supposed to be quite a long walk back. There she blows, Anne Collichan. Just got to drop down this rocky descent into the col. And I'm going to uh, probably, we're going to skirt across to that ridge line there and then follow the top just to take the uh, the gradient out of the climb. So here we are at the summit and Kalishan. There's a bit of a scramble up that uh, scree but we're here at last. Fourth Munro of the day. Let's see if we get a view. They're all wrapped in cloud, the ones we've been up earlier this morning. So looking back, you can see how steep it's been dropping down. But uh, I've been pretty much making a beeline for the uh, path you can see pretty much straight ahead there, um, which I intend to take. And I do keep coming across faint tracks heading in that direction so I'm pretty certain I'm right. So it's quickly become pathless. Shame because that was a nice path before it disappeared. So uh, I'm resorting back to the initial plan which and the path has helped and a great deal which was to make our way down to the uh, burn down there and then you follow the burn down to uh, where it meets the other burn where we're at earlier today. I might even go through the woods yet, even though it's uphill. We'll see, but uh, making good, good ground. So I've got to that bridge at the burn, and uh, I crossed it and there's a footpath this side, the other side, west side of the burn. So I'm following this footpath down the west side of the burn now.
Hi, welcome to day 33 of my Munro challenge. Today I walked route number 34. It's Tuesday the 31st of August. I parked in a small pulling uh, car park uh, just north of the Turundu Bridge near the weather station. Um, a very small pulling, probably room for about four or five cars. Um, the uh, route initially was straightforward, followed a burn, um, which uh, eventually became pathless um, and it be also became very steep. The first, uh, the first climb up to Bean Leith, Mofranchak, was uh, quite tough actually. Um, very steep, pathless, uh, heathery, rocky, uh, boggy, um, you know, so, so uh, it, it was uh, a good test just to get to the top of the, uh, of the first one. And then once you're there, you had to drop to a col, which was <laughs> equally difficult. Uh, it was uh, very steep, very rocky. In fact, I um, I hurt my shoulder on the um, on the rocks coming down. Uh, one of the rocks gave way underneath underneath me, and I've got I've got a dodgy shoulder anyway, and it, it caused me some pain. Um, uh, and uh, and you've got to scramble as well. So it's uh, it was a, a tough descent, particularly in the poor visibility that I had. Um, yeah, Skirg Moor is a fabulous looking hill. It's angular. Matterhorn type shape. It is really, really uh, special. Fortunately, uh, the the few glimpses I got to see it, I didn't manage to uh, get it on camera. Um, it's a very steep, definite path that I followed, uh, which zigzagged its way up the steep section of the um, of the hillside to the top. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a view coming off of um, Skirgmoor. Uh, there was the glacial scars which kind of created steps going down very distinct little platforms never never really seen that before it's quite quite interesting uh all added to uh very very beautiful views actually when when the uh, cloud cleared um then it was pretty straightforward um following the ridge lines and um and and tops until um, eventually I got to an uh, Kolishan, um, which became pathless and also it was like a boulder field um, up and down, um, nothing too difficult. Uh, there's a big rocky outcrop at the top with a cairn on. Um, nice day, very, very uh, pleasant day, some great views. Um, the, the walk back was a long way. The guidebook suggested it was. Although there was a path for part of it, uh, it was very boggy, it was very heathery, and it was very difficult underfoot. Um, so it, it all the whole day really added for slow progress. It was um, 16 miles. Uh, it took me eight and a half hours, and there was 4,038 feet of ascent. Great day though. Uh, just uh, a little bit difficult underfoot.